Um, Father, I thank you that the things that we're learning out of the scriptures at this conference and in our own studies and in our own lives, they are not, um, they are not ambiguous, they don't, um, they, they meet us on the ground. They don't float in the air, they meet us on the ground. Um, and so I thank you for your strength, for your faith, for who you've called and raised up to ask for our healing, to pray for our family. Um, so far, those prayers have been heard and you've answered them in such a beautiful way in that we've shown almost zero side effects to the chemotherapy, even to the amazement of our doctors. Um, strength's been maintained, been able to continue to preach and teach at the village and even travel uh, some. And so I thank you for that. Thank you for my beautiful wife and the faith that you've given her to not, um, not be prone to say, no, you stay at home, you, until this is over, you stay here, you, but instead has uh, encouraged me even to fulfill the calling that you've put on my life. Uh, so I thank you for her and the strength that you've given her uh, and the men and women you've raised up to pray for her. I thank you for the children you've entrusted me with. I want to pray even in front of all these for their salvation, regardless of um, what your plans are for me, that you would draw them to yourselves and that they would love you deeply. And that whether your will for me is an extended period of suffering or healing outright or an early death, that you would guard their hearts against the lies of the enemy that would embitter and, and confuse them, um, but that they would love the God of their father and, and that they would, that the wickedness that has been in the bloodline of the Chandlers for centuries would go into the ground with me whenever that is and that a legacy of faith might be left behind. And I don't control that and I don't get to speak into that, but I do ask you as your servant to be merciful and, and to extend to them salvation. Um, I love you, I wanna love you more than I do, that is my confession. Um, that as far as you've taken me and as much as you've purified me and as much as you've pressed and exalted, I, I wanna love you more than I do I want more of my mind to belong to you than it does. I want more of my heart to worship in you and you alone than it does. And I, and I need your help even now. And it's for your beautiful name. Amen.